welcome to our sixth annual Veterans Picnic. Allegheny and Washington County, I'm the state representative in this area, and every year we love to honor our veterans. They've done so much for our country. It's our turn to give back to them. There's no politics in this event. It's all about our veterans. So if you're anywhere in Washington or Allegheny County, this is the place to be. Uh, we'll have over 300 people here today from World War II veterans all the way up to our most recent uh, uh, conflicts in Afghanistan and Iraq. And uh, every, every veteran is honored, every job is honored, no matter what you've done, we appreciate you. And our country appreciates you, and that's why we're here today. Thank you, Dr. Stagoon, for your service and solid rep representation in the 39th Legislative District. To all of our veterans attending today's gathering, I would like to thank you for your service to this great nation. Your effort and sacrifice is truly appreciated, and I would like to thank our military members currently serving worldwide for their continued defense of the United States of America. Uh, for those of, you who those of you who don't know me, my name is Joe Trancini. I'm one of the three owners of Cascar HVAC Solutions. My business partner, Chad Ziemba, who's in the back, and Dave Staffan. Uh, we provide commercial and industrial engineered solutions for the HVAC market. And uh, we do a lot of work with the VA hospital. This is going to be the tough part. In mid-February in mid 2010, a Marine sergeant was on foot patrol in Afghanistan's Helmand province, gathering intelligence, basically a census patrol, talking to local community members looking for any problems in the area or any Taliban in the area. Halfway down the road, he turned to his teammate, told him to watch his step. Things just didn't seem right. And as soon as he turned his head back, an IED tore through his left eye, tearing apart his left leg. While being attended, one of his comments was, I'm sure I would have died without the quick actions of my fellow Marines. Today we're here to honor Sergeant Ron Strang. Ron. Ron, so everybody knows, Ron was assigned to a Marine Corps military police department detachment responsible for training the local police force in Afghanistan. During his time in the service, Ron was awarded the Purple Heart and Navy Commendation Medal. Ron, you're probably wondering why me. Right? Right? So we met once. Last year, while hunting elk in the mountains of western Montana with some customers, I started thinking about what it really means to say thank you to someone. We value our customers, but what about the men and women of the armed forces? We hold our sports heroes on pedestals, yet push aside the guys that defend their rights to to play those games. So at 9,500 feet in 10 degree weather, I said it's time to give back. On this day, August 19th, 2017, it is with great pleasure and honor to provide this guided elk hunt to Sergeant Ron Strang. The hunt will take place on November 2nd to the 8th, 2018, under the direction of outfitter Irwin Clark license number 5715 of the Broken Arrow Lodge it is an offering of appreciation for your sacrifice and dedication for our freedom and safety. As you gave your best to our country, we are very privileged to give you our best as outfitters for your elk hunt. Thank you and God bless. Got it. Yeah, we're proud. We're glad to have you. I'm telling you, I've known Mike. You know, Mike's a naval captain. You guys know Mike, and uh, he's he was uh, he brought up the name. And it was just awesome. So, I know. It's pretty cool. And you're in.
Ron, first and foremost, we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Your sacrifice and service allows us to be a free country, allows us to hunt, allows us to do what we love for a living. So for that, we are forever grateful. This hunt that you went on was absolutely incredible. The harsh weather conditions that you went through, the drastic differences in terrain, and all to come out of it with an elk and to be successful is pretty incredible and pretty special. Now, if you could have just taught Joe how to load his gun prior to going out that day that you shot yours, you guys might have too. But in all seriousness, from myself, from Dean, from everybody at Team Tag and Brag, Ron, we can't thank you enough for your sacrifice and your services. Congratulations on an amazing elk hunt, and hopefully this is a memory that you get to cherish for the rest of your life. And, hopefully even more, we get to share hunting camp with you here in the near future. Enjoy.
The TV like stuff this. is yeah. not real. No, like, no, you no. know this by now. Yeah. That whole he comes out, turns broadside. Yeah, yeah, no, no. yeah. Not real. Wow. you're going to be watching over there? Yeah, Basically, not the we'll open, first but them. up top. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you'll be down in the green trees yep. covering that whole, whole thing. Up. Okay. They should come through there around 200. Okay. You good with walking? Mm -hmm. okay. Making sure they got in trouble. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go kill some elk.
see Joe get the shot. Huh? I said, we'll stay down and see if Joe gets the shot. Right in your shoulder? No, mine's coming towards us. See it? See it bopping ahead? I was sitting there. I saw it coming to that clump, and then I didn't see anything. And then they ran across, and I lost them in the thick. But as she came out right in this clearing straight ahead, I saw two of them there. I got it. This is the lead one. It just popped up. Awesome dude. As soon as they ran in, I went up. I was at 250. I switched back to three. I'm like, it's gonna be a long shot. Is it that far? Yeah, she was all the way up by uh, that clump of trees coming down. Yeah, it's up between those pines. There's another one. There's another oh, camera. Joe, 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 top of the Joe, hill. Joe, you got There's shot, one to the left of her. You got a shot, man. Just Show Joe where she is. See that, that dead tree? That why? Joe, right here. You see her, Joe? Oh, how far? Joe, right here. Come on, Come on. No, Joe, right here. Come on, my pack. Get down on my pack. Right there. Oops. Don't hurt me. Hey. Ron. Yeah. Ron, scoot back. He's about to shoot. Right up you the gully. Right up the gully. See you, Joe? You're right. You're right next to the gully. At the one laying down. Sorry. Look. See this big dead tree in front of your gun? Yep. To the right, there's a big branch comes off. Yep. There's a little gully that goes up to the dark spot on the hill. Give me a dog. Hey, so yeah, give me another pack. Another pack. She's running away. Okay. You see the one laying in the gully? Is that a deer? No, that's an owl. What's in her head? That's the wrong one. The other one is just up. Hey! 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 She had me. She's right there. She's in front of the green. Halfway over. Hey! Hey! Huh. Hey! She got him on the oh. yeah, yeah. She goes there. She is. She's, She's up. up. Hey! She got a broken shoulder. Take her. Face to your left. Favor to your left. When she's coming out. Hold on. She's looking down this way. She's, there she is. There she is. I got her. Take her. I don't, oh, she went down, didn't she? She's laying down. Yeah. Try and take her if you can. I think you're hitting high. You see her? I'm sure you already see her, Chris. Am I hitting high? We're looking about 225. What are you shooting she's for? She's hitting up again. 300. She's, get, she's already up again. Back she's down. down. Again. She's down. Head's down. Well, if I'm hitting high at 300. She's, she's still alive. All right, calm down. <laughs> I mean, she's dead. Back up again. Take your time. Oh, she's throwing her head. She's dying. Right. Is she? Yep, I just she's saw dying. her. Just laid her head down. Good work. Just laid yes, her head dude. down. Good work. We celebrated a little too early, maybe. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's your shot now. <laughs> that guy right there. Oh. His one happy bugger. Oh. Oh. Damn, I, I knew she was getting up. Oh. It's tougher than hunting white tail, my man. I hit that first. Yeah. I, hit, awesome. I hit that first one and she rolled down the hill and the other one was standing up top. I was like, damn it, I can't take the second one. You like, should be like, damn it, why didn't Joe sit next? It was 50-50. Yeah, you had to go. Yeah. yeah. No, that's perfect. That was exi that's that, that is awesome. It's just what was supposed to happen. He got the big cow, too. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah. Good. I'll take a couple you know steaks. You forgot the level of getting off the horse. It wasn't meant to be. It ought to be. You're right. There's a big one waiting tomorrow. Oh, that's a big cow you see. Yeah. I had those crosshairs rock solid on their shot off their shoulder. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the same one? Go. Huh? No, the, uh, the second one. The oh. second one. I had her. I had her right on the shoulder. Oh. On the hill. Dude, two hits, and I think the third one. Did it. Thank you. That's awesome. Dude, you just brought, the, you just brought down a 500-pound animal, man. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> These are not easy animals, You get a little hike up there now. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. And they still look like tiny from here, so I can't wait till we get next to it. Oh, you have no oh, clue. Man, you're you have no clue. <laughs> when it went through here, I was like, that is a monster animal. Up there, it was still small. You never got excited, though. You yeah, stayed well, calm the whole time. I want to trick that trick. <laughs> I told you, what was it the first day? I said, I'll get excited when it's on the ground. 
Oh. oh. Almost the same time too, Chief. Yeah. You know, yeah. Mine was a little bit later. Jeez. Just a little bit later. What day was yours on? Mine was on a Monday. But I mean, I say, I see all the track here. They went right through here. Uh, wait a sec. No, wait a oh. What day did Mark get hit? How's it feel, Ryan? It's awesome. It's like 10 deer strapped together. <laughs> it's huge. Massive. Oh, wow. Well. It's like we got her in the knee. You got... Who are you? <laughs> Me? Yeah, you. I'm going to get a picture with Ron. <laughs> what I'm doing. Watch it. I fell three, three times right here. Did you? And if you fall, I'm going to get it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh -huh. you out. You're the only one that hasn't <laughs> fell yet. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> Bob? Keep him sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Give me fall, this. Fall up hill, fall. One for the Gipper. <laughs> Did you get that on camera? Part of it. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Well, it oh. That's the best part, though, unfortunately. <laughs> at least you go all the way. Uh, huh? You didn't go all the way, at least. Duff. <laughs> I'm glad, because these rocks are brutal. They are. <sighs> Absolutely insane, it's crazy. Well, here we are in sunny Montana. Yeah. <laughs> About 70 degrees out, a little overcast. No snow uh, today in the forecast? Yeah, no snow in the forecast today. <laughs> That's nuts. Uh, All right. So we haul her out and get inside, right? Pardon me? And we stayed on Marta. <laughs> we call it Friday. We're rolling. <laughs> We're rolling this baby down the hill. I'll make a fire big enough. We can take it. At least downhill would be a lot easier. We'll get that across. Can you imagine uphill? We're higher than where we were. Oh, yeah. We're way higher. Much higher. Oh. You need a 360 degree camera to show what's behind oh, us, this huh? This is insane, yeah. Seriously. Bob, would you please move to the side because this thing is going for a ride. Keep that thing rolling. Yeah. On the count of three. One, two, three. So was it short time right after the horse? Or did you carry the gun for a long time? It was up the rock slide. I up the rock slide. Oh my god. Yeah. And then we had a walk to where we were dropping him off at. And then we were walking in to another park. To try to move up and push the elk across. He was going to push me up there. Then we heard him shoot. So we walked back. I heard the shot. I was so excited. I didn't think about it. I saw a bullet in my chain. Ran over and got ready. He said they were lower. Ran got set up. Literally, I had I had crosshairs right on the shoulder of that elk. The second one. I mean, rock solid, but he was and uh, the trigger. Quick nose. He was just like crushing.